Welcome back to the Hardware Asylum Podcast Extras. We're going to be going over a new game, PC Building Simulator. And it's uh, available on Steam. I got it for sale on Humble Bundle for, I think it was $5 off. It's been out for a little while. Oh, yeah. Humble Bundle. Always worth keeping an eye on or subscribing to their news feed for sometimes some really great deals. Yeah. This is a game that I saw on, what was it, the EVGA podcast. Uh, Jacob was really, really super excited about it. And for a good reason, there was actual EVGA hardware in the game. So we're going to launch this. This is a Steam game. Yep, Steam oh, game. look at those sponsors. Wow. Yeah. All these sponsors have contributed to the game. So we have actual, like right now we have an in-win case. And in there we have an Asus motherboard. We have name branded stuff. This is something that I really like in a game because it, it gives it an extra element of realism. Similar to like, uh, you know, the old Xbox game SRS or Street Racing Syndicate. Right. Where they had name brand turbos. They had name brand suspension parts. They had name brand cars you could drive. Well, I think people forget how difficult it is to coordinate all that, which is part of why I found this a little bit interesting. Yeah. All right. I see so, banners even in the background, the whole nine yards. How do we want to do this? We got. Okay. So right now we're playing a game that I started. I have about maybe an hour and a half into it already. And this is the career I take it. Yep. So we go and click continue. Okay. I see free building and how to build a PC, which. Oh yeah, useful. those are like little tutorials and stuff. This this has an underlying sort of uh, theme to it where it teaches you how a computer works and how it goes together. So right now you are in your little shop. Can so I, if, Oh, I can look around. Okay. Yeah, you can look around. So this is your, your main computer. And uh, if you spin around to the left, you have your primary workstation on the right. And then you have two other workstations to the left in the center. I got parts. Oh, good on CPU for getting some wall space. Yeah, we got CPU. You know what's funny? Is I haven't got a magazine from them in a while. I might have to see if they're still around. Uh, we have the Modzu. We have two posters from the Modzu. Nice. Um, they actually have a YouTube channel, which is kind of fun. And then over for the far right, these are all grayed out, but there's a uh, chest right there. Okay. Where you can put uh, systems and stuff like that, which is kind of fun. So I can walk around in here. Oh, inverted mouse. Who, oh, yeah, you can change that if you who want. Who uses to. an inverted mouse? I don't know. Go to uh, the settings down in the lower left there. Damn this. I know. Go invert Y. Over to the left. Oh, there gosh. Go. Okay. Click apply. So, right now, the quality is in fantastic. So if you didn't know, Dennis is weird, and he inverts his mouse. Yeah, that's true. I feel like right. I should look around. Oh, look, Fujiyama. Yeah. So right, this is your hallway where you accept all of your deliveries and stuff. So... To start, um, I've already started. We have $2,300 in the bank. I'm level three. Nice. Click on the, the computer right there and open up your email. Double click. That's funny. It makes the click noises. Yeah. So the top three are, are people that want to have us work on something. Upgrade the CPU, run 3D and mark. All right. Yeah. So that has to be done in 10 days. If you click on the one below it, which is DennisButlers.com, uh, we have a virus scan and needs to be done in two days. And then the next one down is upgrade graphics card and run 3D Mark. Okay. And each one of these has a price associated with it. I'm assuming that doesn't include the part, right? Uh, it does include the part. Oh, interesting. So if you want to go ahead and accept all three of those, we should be able to. Yeah. And then click the next one. And it says in transit. Next one. In transit. The last one is talking about the shop, saying this is you in inherited it from your uncle or something like that, um, which is kind of fun. Okay. Oh, so on the left, we have an icon for shop. If you double click on that, it goes to their version of Newegg, basically called Bits and PCs. Nice. Um, this is where you can buy stuff. So if you like click on motherboards, for instance, these are the Montori or whatever. Those are the name house brand. And then you can start getting into DF DFIs and um, eventually you can get, or DFL, it's supposed to be DFI. No, I gotcha. They didn't pay. I yeah, see. Yeah, exactly. So then we have storage, power supplies, cases, um, fans, and stuff oh, like that. Oh, now I see some name brands and graphic card land. Yeah. Oh, look at those pretty cards. We're on one of those right now. Yes. So. Anyhow, what we have to do, though, is um, basically we can exit out of all this stuff, and we have to end our day so that our stuff will show up so we can work on it. Okay, so exit, I'm assuming? Yeah, or you can hit the escape button. Okay. 
and then navigate toward the door. And then clicking on the door allows you to restart the day. End of day, right? Yep, end of day. Oh, we're going to get a Seagate Barracuda Terrorite Drive. Yeah. And then we click go to work, and then we should have those three computers right here. Oh, yay. So if you right or yeah, right mouse click, that's the one where you got to do virus and 3D mark or something stupid oh, like that. Oh, my gosh, I'm carrying it around. That looks like an old Antec case. Yeah. So I put that on a bench. Yeah, on that bench right there. Left click. Mm -hmm. And then so this one, we have to uh, upgrade the graphics card. I'm not sure. I can't remember what we need to upgrade to, but if you left click, and then, um, so at the bottom you have one, two, three, and, and P. One is to install stuff, two is to remove things, and three is to hook up cables. Okay, so we want to remove. Yep, so click that. So side. then if you click and hold. Oh, I see. Yeah, and then highlight. Oh my gosh, very realistic here. Yeah, we're removing the screws. It's a pretty case. What do we get do you think here? I can't remember what that one is. I should know, but I don't. Right, we don't need to mess with that. All right, so we okay. got a we got a um, seven fifty tie gamer. Okay. All right, so if you this we got to not meet the Battlefield Five requirements. No, definitely not. We need to upgrade the graphics card, so we might as well remove it. All right, nice. and then if you exit, okay, we can go back to our email to find out what we need to upgrade it to. All right, well, we had a seven fifty, so we right. need a better card. So let's go to email first. Oh. Oh, and that's going to tell us. Yeah. Um, and let's see. Upgrade. That's CPU. The next one down, I think. Oh, nope. This one, I think. All right. Upgrade graphics card. So he wants to see. My rig is not up to task anymore. I'm hoping for an upgraded graphics card. Check that it doesn't heat. So we just need something better than 750. That seems easy. Okay. All right. So if we go to the shop. You don't need to close this, by the way. It's multi-threaded. So, hey, you know, a 1050 tie seems to be better than a 750, right? Yeah. Well, our budget was like 210, right? So, yeah. like, this would maximize our cost. I see how this is working, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could get all sorts of crazy in here if we wanted. Um, okay, so we need to spend less than 200, right? So, I'm, oh, 1050 gaming. Cool. Let's do that. Done. All right, so then you got to click to the view cart. This works just like a website. Very it's realistic. Cool. Buy it now. Now, so we have next day delivery for $30 extra, oh. or we can wait three to five days, okay. or we can get the same day delivery for an extra 100 Oh. Now, this is one that isn't time limited, so I think we can order it whenever. So I just always pick the next day delivery because oh, it makes it go faster. All right, for this demo, we got cash. Yep. All right. All right. And then go ahead and exit. And then what we need to do is start on the next one because we have a day for that part to show up. Okay. Can I use these two benches yet? No. Those, if you highlight those, it says something about it. you have to be like level five or something stupid. Level like eight. Oh, I have to buy this one. Oh, spendy. Yep. So what we can do is we go over here, right click on the PC, take it back out to the hallway. Okay. And grab the next one. Um, okay. I see. Bye. Okay, that's another upgrade, so let's grab that one. Yep. I'm starting to get this. Yeah, th this is so like working on people's computers, isn't it? Yeah. I know, it's so weird. So this one, I need to upgrade the CPU. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to remove the side panel. All right, I'm getting this. Oh, we have nine days to complete this one, so we might be able to have the CPU shipped um, the three to five days. All right, what do we got in here? A martini thermal. Yeah, so... Um, if you roll up on the mouse, it zooms in. Oh, nice. And then um, you can pan around and stuff. So this one, to remove the air cooler, you need to first remove the the power lead. Oh, I see. So click and Cable. remove that. And then that and comes off. Remove that. And we got open. Oh, nice. Yeah. Open and the shield. You can tell by the um, CPU this is an Intel. Okay. I. Oh, oh, can I move around? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, so there we yeah. go. So it oh, right look, it's even got a serial number on it. So this is a Core i5-6400, right? Yep. So we just need to get something better than that, I'm assuming. How'd you go? All right. So then exit, and then same thing. We just got to go buy a new one. I want to go shopping. Let's find out what he wants, though. Maybe he wants something special. What's this one, I think? No, the top oh, one. This one? Um, I'd like to... Need to run 3D Mark afterwards. He doesn't care. Just something better than 6400. Oh, these are like entry level things. Okay. I know. It's crazy. 
give me a CPU. Oh, and it has to be an Intel one. You can't pick an AMD. Oh, Otherwise yeah, because the chipset. Oh, I didn't even look at the chipset. Oh, the actually, I've noticed that this is a bit dated. So this is all Skylake stuff. So we have a 6400. So if we pick like a 65 or a 66, do the 6600K. I like that one. Great processor. Yeah. All right. And then we got, oh, we got to do the view cart thing. You didn't order it. Oh, my gosh. I suck. Hey, this is the uh, minimum required card to run Battlefield 5. Oh, nice. All right. We're going to go ten. cheap. Yeah, we can go cheap because we have time to work on this one. Make some money. Choo choo. Okay. Now we're going to exit out of this. Yep. All right. Oh, notice how the email stayed up on the screen. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? Nice. What is that? Is that a. I am not oh, sure. Oh, that's those little drawers with screws and stuff in them, I think. Uh huh. Nice. My shop never looked this clean. Okay. All right, so now we got to go stick that back out in the hallway. The and PCs are in the hall. All right, so. This one's, oh, this will be easy. So um, we got to remove do you, viruses. Do you have a virus? All right, so for this one, we don't need to get into the PC, right? Doesn't look like it. So if you go and click on it to work on it. Okay. And then click on install. Wow, you're way zoomed in. Oh, sorry. Do yeah. I want to? Uh, it's Plug fine. it in here. Install. Nope. Okay. Install. And then you got to grab your USB drive because you got to install your antivirus software. Okay. So click. And then you see how it's highlighted in the back? Oh, yeah. So if you click on that, although you can't see it yet, so you need to do the right mouse click and turn your view. Okay. There you go. Oh. And then click and add. Plug that puppy in. And then click cables. And now you can install your USB cables, your video cable, and your power cable. Power. Oh, at least it tells me where they are. Yeah. Funny thing, there's an upgrade that you can buy for $1,000 that will auto-connect the cables for you. Cause this uh, is like, are you tired of this? We will help you. Whoops. Oh, I suck. I want to just drag it. Uh, yeah, I know. That was so what I wanted to do. Yeah, click and hold, and then click and hold. There you go. Yeah, it there takes so much. Video card. We're using HDMI, it looks like. Oh, or our display port, something. All right. And now you can click the P key or click the P button. And you hear that? Nice. PC started. Spun up. Oh, so look that at that. You can see the fan going in there. Oh, yeah. nice. Look at that. So if you hit escape and then over to the screen. And then add remove programs in the upper left there. Double click. And then you have to undo your antivirus scanner or virus scanner in the middle. Oh, music player, nice. Yeah. Beta OS, that's kind of clever. And then you got to restart, yeah. So realistic, right? Nice. Shut down music and everything. Mm hmm. And supposedly you can get into the BIOS and change stuff like overclocking, but I no. tried tried to do that. It doesn't seem to work. Hey, it boots quickly though. Yeah. All right. So now we do the virus scanner, just like in the real world. Start scanning. Wow, it's fast. SD baby. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Three hundred eleven files. All right. Oh, so man, this is like working on my kid's PC. Yep. All right. So then you're done. So I I've always done the add remove programs to remove the virus scanner. I don't know if you have to do that or not, but I'm assuming that I'd have to buy it again. I'm not sure. I think it makes sense. Yeah. So it's removed. Almost. There you go. Click no. And then I just do a um, shut down in the click the beta OS. And then exit. And now you're done. So you can right click or yeah. left click. Do I want to take my thing out? Oh, yeah. Take that out. So do the left click and then pan Oops. around. There you go. I probably don't need to remove these, right? You know, I found that um, the first time I removed all of those, but I found that if you just pick up the PC, it unhooks all the cables. Oh, well, that's helpful at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Save some time. Yeah, and then stick it out in the hallway. And then if you go back, see, now it's all green. So if you go back to your email and find that job, you can get paid for it. I think it's the last one. 
or a middle one. I don't know. Oh, yeah, virus scan. There it is. Yep. Oh, collect. That was cheap. $110. Easy money. Now I can discard it, right? Because it's done? Yep. And then, so we got a new one in, which is the top one there. Upgrade the memory. Run 3D Mark and have it done in two days. Seems doable. Yeah. We'll accept that. Cool. I and should probably buy memory, right? Oh, I need to go check it out, right? Yeah, we need to know what... Well, see, here's the thing, right, that I've noticed. Um, sometimes the computers will come in, they'll have like two gigs of really super cheap memory. Right. And if you buy two gigs, you can add to it and you can get the four. Or you can go buy a single four gig stick and then just take their stick and then you have it to sell or you can put it into another computer later. Oh, interesting. Okay, so yeah, you add it to your parts inventory. Mm-hmm. So this one says new parts are available. Oh, I can get a 970 gaming. Good card. Oh, yep. Probably don't care for now, but... No, probably not. Discard? Yep. So if you wanted to buy a memory, you could go buy... Like we go to the shop and find a 4 gig stick or two 2 gig sticks. Oops. Got to look like happy. Yeah. So we have the A-Data Premier Series. We got the house brand. We got the DFL. We have the Sheehan, which is the high-end whatever. It's all DDR4. That makes it easy. Yeah, look, we got the team group stuff, which nice. is a name brand. And in all different sizes. So, like, we can get a single 4 gig, which most of the PCs I've noticed come with a single stick. So, they don't have single or versus dual channels going okay. on. Okay, well, it's still early in the game. Yeah, possibly. So, if you wanted to buy one, um, like this Sheehan Titan, which is a 2133, it's only $35. Or if you, you can get 2,400 stuff too. It can be faster. I've noticed you don't get any extra money for giving them more than what they want though. Oh, okay. So at least early on, you probably just want to make some money, right? Yeah. All right. We're getting it. And probably next day on that one. Cause it, they, well, they want it in nine days, I guess. Right? No, oh, that's, that's the upgrade CPU, CPU one. one. Like this one? Four gigs, two days. Two days, so probably next day you're probably going to want that. Oh, wait, I can't go back. Oh, no. Oh, I see, I had... Something else going on. So oh, they have a taskbar. Oh, my gosh, that's crazy. Mm, yeah. So I'm guessing, yeah, okay, next day, yeah. boom. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Cool, and then we can exit, and then we have to exit and start over the, for the next day. I'm going home. This was such a hard day, Dennis. I know, it's terrible. I didn't even... Turn off the machine. Go to work. Oh, there's a game thing going on. Okay. No, that was... Um, oh, boxes. So we got boxes. These are our deliveries. So oh, if you click sweet. on this, we got our graphics card and some Titan memory. Nice. That's my manifest. Okay. Cool. And then we just got to find, like, the PC that has it's the memory like in Christmas. it. Christmas. What do they say? Probably on them, though. Probably. Mm, and that's the RAM. So let's get that one. Yeah. All right. I got to see RAM in action here. Starting to get the hang of the migration. All right. To work on it. We we're going to... Remove the side panel, obviously. Around. Oh, look at that video card. Pretty. <laughs> okay. I always wondered if you could uh, take a customer video card and put it in another machine that needed that video card. If they would let you. I haven't tried that yet. So if you zoom in, yeah. You have to... You know how to remove memory. You got to remove the Values clips first. Right? memory. Click. Oh. Yeah, so they remove. They have the value supreme. Oh, 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 oh! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, click the things back. Hold on. Hold on. I got something. I got. I think I got something. All right, hit exit. Okay, go. Um, I guess click on it again, and then click uh, one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, install, okay. and then go to memory. Uh huh. I have some from a previous upgrade. Oh, we bought memory we didn't need to. No. Oh, we might be able to use it. So click it and then install it where you want it to go. Oh, okay. Well, we don't know if this is a dual. Yeah, it's technically a dual, but I don't know if it makes a difference. There it goes. Oh, it snapped. I it heard snapped. it. Yeah, it snapped. Okay. All right. So now we just exit and then hook up. It boots, right? Yeah. You, well, you got to hook up all the cables, I guess. I need to click on it, right, and do cables. Yeah. You might have to zoom out. There you go. Oh, it's okay. This is the part that I think is a little annoying. I can it's see why you might pay for a freebie. Oops. Just so you don't have to do this. 
and faster. Uh, oh, video. I feel like I can make it work here. Power. Fan comes on. Video cards are running. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, hey, we got to oh, install our thing to run 3D, Mark. Oh, oh, so we need to power it down? Nope, nope. It's a USB. You know uh, that. All right, all right. So go install and then grab our USB drive. Uh, where are you? Oh, it's over on the right there. Oh, right in front of me. And click and hold. All right, exit. Oh, look at that. Even different wallpaper. Yeah, that sounds sweet. Sweet, Dubai. Double click, yeah. And then install 3D Mark. This is the part that I find amazing is that they have an actual 3D Mark benchmark that runs. I know it's just a video, right. but it's kind of cool. Start now. No dead pixels. I have noticed that there's dust flying around in your office. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. Glad it boots quicker, though. Yeah. Normally, when you're working on a customer PC, it takes forever because they're really cheap and don't get the SSD. All right, well, I'm guessing we can just run it, right? Yep. Oh, look at that. And we could sit here and watch it, or we can fast forward to the end. I bet the benchmark's gone. Done. Aha. Yeah, there we go. And we got 2316. That's terrible. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Figures cannot be cheesers. We think we're going to remove this. Yeah. I've always removed them. I don't know if you have to. Uh, it's just good practice. Doesn't take long. Thanks nope. to the incredibly fast SSD. It's probably a crucial. Probably. Uh, click no and then shut down. And now we can stick this in the hallway and get our money. Get our money. I need to remove my uh, thing. We don't know. We think. Yeah, I think so. All right. Cool. Bye bye. Uh, that looks like it could be an Antec case. I always thought it was like a um, a Fantex. Could be a Fantex. Could be. All right, so we can go collect our money. I like it. Collecting money's good. Two hundred twenty dollars for making part. money. Oh, we got new parts. Oh my gosh, they're coming! What's wrong with my gaming rig? Real cheese, nice. <laughs> All right, what's piece of parts got? Oh, quad core. Quad core and a Shein 980 gamer. Nice. We don't need that. And uh, what's wrong? I don't know. Oh, uh, hey, this is a new one. So let's see, my gaming rig is not booting anymore. I don't know what's wrong with it. Can you diagnose what's wrong with it? Uh, yeah, this is like a typical email, right? Yeah. Uh, it seems to be power on okay. The fans go around, but it doesn't get any further than the BIOS screen. Ooh, like a cheesy one. Yeah. Real cheesy. Yeah, can you have a look and fix whatever's wrong with it? Peace out. Diagnose and fix. This is the first time I've seen a job come through where it hasn't told you what is wrong. We'll dig it. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh, hey. It's like, you might not want to do this. What are you doing? You just sell <laughs> video cards for a living. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's see. We Oh, we could upgrade the four gigs of RAM. And then we got to run 3D Mark. What was this one? Video card. Did we get the video card? I think we got the video card. All right. We're going. All right. We can do one more. I think. How are we doing on time? I think we're doing pretty good. We can probably finish this one up and call it a day. All right. I took out the video card. So we want to install a graphics card. We bought this beautiful card. Oh, it's only worth 40 bucks used. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. No bit mining in this game. All right, so. There you go. You should be able to like, click and drag. Maybe you got to zoom in or something. Oh, I know what it is. Can you tell what it is? Zoom in, zoom in. Turn to the left. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Ah, we got to remove a slot. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Well, I guess it's realistic. I think it's that one. Okay. Ah! You silly thing. Do we need to plug it in? Um, no. I, well, yeah, yeah, we we do. Um, Cable? It should be the screws. We got to put screws in. Oops. It wants to... Oh, click and, click and drag it to the bottom. Or click and hold, and then click and hold. Oh, okay. There it goes. That's kind of interesting. Totally. We're only getting $200 for this. 
Yeah, but look how quick I'm doing it. I could do dozens of these. Oh, you could do. Gotta hit P to turn it. Worked that time. I if I forgot only. to plug the cables in last time. <laughs> oh, I've seen this wallpaper. Alright. And then we run this. And through the magic of editing, we'll be back. We'll be back. Oh, yeah. See? 1504. Awful. It's terrible. All right, so. I guess if we were really curious, we could go and look and see what it's got, right? Yeah, we could. You can't tell from the software, which is unfortunate. Yeah, where's my CPU Z, GPU Z? I know, right? Seems like a no brainer. All right, so you gotta hit escape, exit. We'd have to open it up, though, so I don't know if it's worth it. All right, not tonight. All right, we're up $100. What do we get? Oh, oh, stuff coming in. Ooh. Expensive and expensive moron museum. <laughs> Upgrade. Okay. Graphics card, 4 gigs of RAM, run 3 of you mark. For $290. All right, so we want to do the diagnosed one and then move on? Yeah, let's take a look at it just because uh, oh, it's still in transit. We got to ah. end the day. All right, we got to end. Is that up here? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's the door. Nice. Yeah, that's the door. Oh, look at that. It's like an interesting... Peach color. That's a cooler like master. Yeah, the cheap cooler master case. All right. Often the bias will give you a clue to what's wrong. Oh no! See, over here and look. All right. What is error? No CPU found. What? Oh, it seems like we're leading the witness. Oh, you probably got to turn it off. Hands are spinning. Yeah, hit P. There we go. All right, let's remove the side panel. It's saying no CPU installed, so I'm going to say that the CPU is dead. All right, what do we got here? We got MSI, Cooler Master. Good mm -hmm. call. Mm -hmm. All right, so we want to... Oh, it's in team group memory. That's awesome. Remove that, remove that. Oh, an AMD Ryzen. That's why I died. Oh, my gosh. Oh. These people. All right, so do we have a... Oh, did you see what size, what kind it was? All right, so if you click on CPUs... Oops, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, not cooling. Download, there you go. It's a... AM4? 1500X. It says used and broken. Oh, yeah, well, that makes it easy for us. Hey, yeah. I can still get six bucks for it. Yep, sell it. Sell it! There's a sucker born every minute. All right, let's go sorry. buy a processor for this bad boy. 100x, well, 190. 190. Let's see, what else do we got? Do we have like Fred Ripper or something we can put in there? No, not nope. yet. No Intel, nothing. All right, so yep, 1500x is what we need. So that's CPU building, or no, not CPU, PC building simulator. What an interesting little gig. Yeah. Now, obviously, when you get to level 8, 12, and whatever, 16 or something, whatever. Um, you can expand, and now you can have more than one PC on the test bench. So you can have one of them benchmarking while you're running and fixing another one. You can just kind of run a little faster. So in free build here, I can, I'm assuming, build whatever I want, right? Oh, yeah, empty case. So. Yeah, an empty case. So anyway, this so. is a Steam game. Does not have any minimum requirements that we know of. Whose case is this one? Oh. Mm. I'm going to say we could probably buy parts put in there. That's an in-win case, by the way. Let's see if we have any. Oh, because we're in sandbox game. We're going to just go crazy, right? We could put whatever we wanted in it. Yeah, let's do it. I was going down to the bottom. What is it? 1050. There's a 1080 Ty Amp Extreme. Yes, yes. That's the one. Oh, but you know what? We need a motherboard. Oh, we need another board. Oh, it's sitting right over there. That's kind of funny. It's like on my desk. <laughs> it wants you to do it now. All right, so we need a motherboard. Mm -hmm. oh, we don't have a lot of motherboard choices here. CXT. Coffee Lake, KB Lake. Oh, oh, scroll down, scroll down. We got the Gigabyte X3399 RS. All right. There we go. That's Threadripper style, buddy. Right? So we got to put in the standoffs. Hey, peripherals. I need to be able to change it. Mm. We can put custom cables in. Uh, oh, look at that. It's pretty. I didn't put any LEDs in. No. It's got lights. And we see on the screen, 
No. We got Gigabyte. OS found? We got Gigabyte. Oh, I think it does that OS on purpose. Uh, oh, we did that part. Okay, well, I was looking to see what kind of fun, pretty stuff we got. Case fans? Oh, yeah, we do fans. Yeah. Oh, cables. You can do custom cable kits. You make it all colorful and stuff. Oh, nice. We could be on this all night. I can see that. Yeah. All right. Cool. We well, get the idea, I think. So, on that note, this was... PC Building Simulator, available on Steam for sale if you get it from Humble, Humble Bundle. And I imagine as time goes on, probably more vendors will join if the game stays popular. So if that looks like something that could suck a lot of your time like it just did ours, <laughs> check it out.